So ngayon, gumawa naman tayo ng cream puff or profiteroles. Kapag sinabing profiteroles, mas maliliit po yan na cream puff. Best for a dessert spread or dessert buffet. Pwede mong tawagin tong cream puff or profiteroles kung saan ka masaya at kung saan mas bibilib ang mga customers at ang pamilya mo. Napakabilis po nitong gawin. Let's start with the pate choux or choux pastry. Ang ibig sabihin ng pate in French is paste and choux is cabbage. Makikita nyo mamaya kung bakit tinawag yan na cabbage paste dahil mukha silang repolyo. So napakabilis po nitong gawin. Social man ang pangalan, very very easy to prepare. First, you need to open your stove, no? High heat or high flame and ilagay mo yung iyong non-fat milk. I'm using non-fat milk because I don't want the paste or the shoe pastry to become too heavy. So you put your non-fat milk and your butter. So I'm going to bring this to a full boil. Papakuluin mo hanggang matunaw yung iyong butter, no? Ganun lang ka simple. And then you also need your flour, all-purpose flour, <coughs> eggs, and your salt. Konting asin lang. We're using unsalted butter. By the way, pero as a golden rule, kung ang butter na meron ka lamang sa bahay ay salted, pwede mong gamitin yon. You just have to omit the salt. I'm using unsalted. No? So, pakukuluin mo yan, kaya high flame. Mabilis na mabilis lang po itong gawin. Akala lang ng mga tao, medyo mahirap, pero sa totoo lang, as long as you know the basics and tama ang pagme-measure mo ng ingredients, magandang maganda ang kakalabasang produkto niyan. While we're waiting for this to boil, I have prepared here two baking pans. Nilagyan ko po yan ng silicon mat. Ay, wala po ako niyan. Pwede mong lagyan ng parchment paper. Wala din po akong parchment paper. Pwede mong tahiran lang ng shortening, margarine or butter yung iyong baking pan para hindi dumikit yung binibake mo. And of course, you also need a, this is a piping bag, no? So yung piping bag, I'm, I'm using disposable dahil mas hygienic. Because of course, yung mga baked goods, yung mga icing, no? Gustong gusto ng bakteryang manirahan dyan, lalo kung hindi mo mahuhugasang mabuti yung piping bag. So it's always good to use disposable, no? Pero kami, syempre, of course, to observe yung ating pagiging nature-friendly hanggat kaya natin itong i-recycle, i-recycle natin. Okay? So, this is again your piping bag na binutasan ko lang ng mga 3 fourth of an inch no? para dyan lalabas yung ating shoe pastry mamaya. Kung babalikan mo to, you will see na tunaw na yung butter and then malapit na siyang Kumulo. Now, it is simmering. It has to be full boiling. But do not overboil it because masusunog mo yung gatas. Tamang kulo lang. Okay? So, yan. Kumukulo na siya. Ilalagay ko yung aking all-purpose flour. You put the all-purpose flour. Hindi ko papapatayin yung apoy, ha? And then, using a spoon, this is a heat-proof spoon, You're just going to mix it until it turns into a paste. Okay? Mabilis lang. Kailan ko po papatayin yung apoy kapag naabsorb na nung mixture lahat nung flour? Pag wala ka nang nakikitang traces of the flour, you can turn off the flame. Okay? Ang mga French, ang kanilang indicator is, sasabihin nila sa'yo, once you see the skin. Anong skin yon di ba? O eh, katulad nito, ito ba yung skin? Hindi po. Ito yung skin. Tignan mo yung nasa ilalim ng kaserola mo. Yung puting yan, that is what they call the skin. Okay? So, pagka sinabi nila, turn off the flame when you see the skin. O, yun pala yon di ba? May skin ang iyong kaserola. 
So, pag nakita mo na yung skin, patayin mo na yung apoy. You should achieve a mixture like this. Like a mashed potato. O, di ba? And then, ilipat mo yan sa isang malinis na mixing bowl. Mainit pa yan, ha? Real time tayo. Tuloy-tuloy. Itong -tuloy. mainit na Uh, paste na ito, ibubuhos ko dito yung itlog one at a time. Okay? You get it? Ha? One at a time dito sa mainit na paste. Hindi mo ito hihintayin lumamig. Dahil pag lumamig na yung paste mo, hindi na niya maa-absorb yung iyong itlog. Okay? So, ayan, umuusok-usok pa yan if nakukuha ng camera. I'm going to put one egg And then I'm going to mix it. Can I use a mixer? Yes, you can. Pero kasi ako, ang pate shoe kasi, or the, the shoe pastry, is actually one of the foundations of French patisserie. Kaya makikita mo to mostly sa mga French uh, bake shops, cake shops, patisserie. So, sa pastry school, no? Hindi ka pastry chef kung hindi ka expert gumawa ng shoe pastry. And I remember, I went to pastry school twice. Talagang hindi mo pwedeng i-mixer to. Talagang kailangan kamay ang gagamitin. Second egg, pag nawala na yung unang itlog, maglagay ka na ng second. Ay, dalawa po yung nahulog sa sobrang excitement mo. No problem. Akala mo hindi niya ma-absorb yan, di ba? Mukhang basa. But you just keep on mixing. Yeah, absorb niya yan. Don't worry, hindi maluluto yung itlog mo kahit na mainit yung paste. Dahil kahahalo mo, you're actually incorporating the cool air. So, binabalance mo yung init at yung lamig. Oh, you see? We're all learning that baking is really all about balance. The fourth egg. And you know, you will discover, hindi lang ito pang cream puff. Pwede mo din itong gamitin for churros. Ito din po ang ginagamit na paste for churros. So just keep on mixing. And then I put my fourth egg, fifth na pala, and pwede mo na din ilagay yung iyong sixth egg. Okay? Medyo talagang exercise to. Nakakapagod, ano? Pero di ba, okay lang na mapagod ka kung maganda naman ang resulta. O, oh, hugot yun. I'm sure, may marami sa inyo nakaka-relate. Pwede ko po bang lagyan ng flavor yung pinaka-paste? Actually, pwede. Pero, yung classic talaga, we just keep it uh, plain. And then, we just put different flavors dun sa loob pagkaluto. So now, once it's like a paste like this, eto na yon. it's now a smooth paste. <clears throat> We can now transfer it into a piping bag. Okay? Let's clear this space. Let's transfer it into a piping bag. Tinuro ko na sa inyo before how to use the piping bag, di ba? Doon sa vanilla cupcake recipe. Yan, maglagay ka lang dyan. Half muna. And then you push it, checking na wala dapat mga natrap na air bubbles na malalaki para dire-diretso yung pagpapipe mo. And then you get your baking pan. Look, pag nagpipe ka yan, kailangan diretso. Tingnan nyo ha, hindi yan basta-basta tutulo. Don't worry. It has to be thick like this. You push, and then you stop, and then you swirl. Again, you push, nakuha mo na yung size na gusto mo, you stop, and then you swirl. You push, you stop, you swirl, you push, you stop, you swirl. Okay? That is your cream puff or your 
profiterole. Pwede po ba yung eclair? May nakikita po akong eclair. Ang eclair naman ay pahaba. Kung gusto mong eclair, nakahiga naman yung piping bag mo, you push, and then you pull. Oops. You pull. Yan. Push. Nakuha mo na yung size na gusto mo. You pull. Paano po yan? Hindi po maganda yung dulo. Okay? Teka, kukuha ko ng tubig. Kumuha ka ng tubig, you dip your finger, and then, pindutin mo lang yung dulo para ma-flatten. Don't let na may mga nakapik sa taas kasi masusunog yan during the baking. So, see? So, these are your profiteroles. These are your eclair. Kung gusto mong parang donut ang style, eh di pa bilog na ganon. Ay, eh paano po yan? Pasmado po ako. Okay, pasmado po ako. Gusto ko po gumawa ng heart. Pero, instead of creating a heart na broken heart po ako, paano po ang gagawin ko? Don't worry. Pate shoe, hindi lang siya social pakinggan, it's also very forgiving. Ibig sabihin, nagkamali ka, may second chance. Pwede mo yan ibalik dun sa bowl and then ibalik mo sa piping bag. ba? Diba? Because everybody deserves a second chance. So, tatapusin ko yung pagpapipe ng aking profiteroles and then I'm going to bake it in a hot oven. I will indicate on the recipe yung temperature and then yung number of minutes. And then after baking, I'll show it to you. Ganito po ang itsura niyan, ha? Lalagyan mo ng space kasi aalsa yan. So I'm going to bake it. I'm going to finish piping. I'll bake it and then I'll show you after. So, ayan na. Tignan ninyo. Nicely golden brown after baking it. Di ba? Ang ganda nila. And, di ba mukha silang repolyo? Oh, di ba? I told you. So here, in, in my stainless uh, casserola, I'm putting some fresh milk. Oops. You put some fresh milk. This is now the creme patisserie or the pastry cream. Cornstarch. Egg yolks. And white sugar. You can put vanilla extract if you want. No? Before I turn on the heat or the flame, it did dissolve ko muna yung cornstarch. To make sure na walang lumps. And then now I'm turning on the flame, medium flame with constant stirring. Pakukuluin ko to. Dito naman sa kabila, I made a ganache. Ito yung ating pinaka magiging coating. I made it by combining 2 cups of cream, 2 cups of cream, and 3 cups of Belcolade dark chocolate, Belgian chocolate. So, ininit ko lang hanggang maging ganitong kalapot. No? Mabilis lang to. Actually, sobra-sobra to. So, what I do, pwedeng you can cut the recipe uh, into half if you want. Okay? So, pakukuloyin ko to. Pagkulo niya, lalapot yan, malapot na malapot, I'm going to put in the butter. And that's what we're going to do next. So, after cooking the pastry cream, pag lumapot na siya, you put the butter, you mix it, you let it cool down. Pag lamig niya, you can transfer it into your piping bag. And then, syempre, yung cream puff mo, kailangan butasan mo. So, look, I'm, I'm using a pair of scissors, and then, gugupitin mo lang yung ilalim, and then, gawan mo ng butas. One more. Gupit. And then, butasan mo. Okay? So, I think, ayan, nabutasan na namin lahat yan. And then, gumupit ka lang dito sa piping bag mo so you can inject some of the pastry cream. So, you get a cream puff, you get your pastry cream, you inject. Okay? So, you want to be generous. Oh, ayan, nag-practice lang ako sa isa. You want to be generous, pwede mong itaktak din ng konting ganon. One more. Pasok mo ng konti yung pastry cream and then you inject. How do you know kung tama na medyo umaapaw na dapat dito sa loob? Sa labas pala, sorry. Okay? Hindi naman nakakauma yung pastry cream so pwede mong dagdagan yan. 
Masarap kasi yung punong-puno. Ang feeling. Hindi ba? <laughs> Natatawa tuloy ako. O, di ba? Maganda yung punong-puno ang feeling. Hindi tinitipid ang feeling. And syempre, lalagyan mo ng masarap na chocolate topping. You dip it. You shake it. Ah, look. Dip. Shake. Dip. Shake. O, oh, diba? And syempre, I'm going to show you what's inside. I'll just get a knife. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang nasa loob niyan. Matrabaho kasi yung pagpapanlaman na yan. Look. Diba? Punong-puno ang feeling. Diba? Hindi tiniped. And of course, it's very delicious. You will know kung maganda ang pagkakagawa mo ng iyong pate shoe or shoe pastry kung yung loob talaga niya is may hangin. And dapat pantay ang hangin sa loob. Look. Okay? There's enough space for you to put the feeling. Pwede ka din maglagay dito ng savory filling. For example, you want to put chicken alaking filling, uh, giniling, pwede rin. So, ano pa hinihintay mo? Gumawa ka na and make your dessert table for the holidays. Extra special. I'll try it. Mm. Classic and very good. Stay safe, everyone.